Me in 2027 when AI girlfriends become a thing, knowing that I can have a girlfriend that won't smoke, doesn't have tattoos, virgin, European race, modestly dressed. <laughs> wait, 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 we're starting off strong with this one. Welcome to Are the Straits? Okay, my god, all right. Where do you even begin with this one? Because what do you mean modestly dressed? That woman is naked. That robot ain't wearing any clothes. That's not modest to me. Also, you, you, some of you people gotta grow the hell up doesn't have tattoos virgin god you are a creepy son of a bitch, aren't you <laughs> ai wouldn't take you dude ai would run away plug in their nose girls versus guys can't hunt can hunt these girls can't survive men destroy women in survival competition <laughs> Oh man, just, what can you say? I've been reading this book about marriage. It says to always treat your wife like it's your first date. So after dinner tonight, I'm dropping her off at her parents. <laughs> can we get some crazy, wacky Hanna-Barbera cartoon sound effects in here? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> the ideal woman, here we go. All right, let's see if we can get a bingo or hell, probably a blackout on the bingo board at this point. Has no male best friend, talks to males only only till it's work related. Till it's work related? Doesn't accept flirting. Extremely beautiful. Wears decent clothes. High morals. Conservative. Feminine. Had no boyfriend or past. Not even simped. <laughs> oh. Only into marriage. Has only female friends. Not feminist. Knows cooking. Not woke. Religious. Hates degenerates. Oh man, that last one. I don't think she's gonna want you then. Things I would do if my man started balding. Break up immediately and go marry a healthier one. Things I would do if me, my sister, brother, dad, son, mom, or daughter ever started complaining about hair loss. Horsetail, nettle tea, saw palmato, and pumpkin seed oil three times a week after micro-needling. Onion, garlic, orange peel, cloves, rosemary, hair toner three times a day. Hair massage twice a day. Replacing the three-in-one shampoo to, uh, to what? Okay. I'm very confused by all of that. So I, I suffer from male pattern baldness for sure. You wouldn't know it right now because I do take a daily finasteride dose to keep it there, all right? Now, I, maybe when I'm in my late, I, I'll give it a decade. How about that? I'll give it a decade and then I'll probably stop taking that stuff and, you know, go, hmm, well, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Because bald is fine, even though it requires just as much upkeep as having hair, I guess. It's ridiculous. What is all this crap? I've heard of micro-needling, but what the hell are you talking about? Also, things I would do if my man started balding. Break up immediately and go marry a healthier one. Man, you're dodging the bullet for him. You are the bullet and you're just, boink, going somewhere else. Thank God. A man versus a woman's body. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you know? Lately, I've started to consider this uh, anti-woke gamer grip bullshit to be quite funny. These people aren't trying to be funny, and that's why it works so well. They take this shit so seriously to such a pathetic and creepy extent. There's not really anything we can say to you. We're gonna go ahead and continue to enjoy games and have a good time, and you can yell into your weird Twitter echo chamber about how video games are ruined for reasons you are getting close closer and closer to taking your mask off about. The rest of us are gonna have fun. You go sizzle in your roach-infested hellhole. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Woke consumers, stop complaining, tourist. Us played Halo before they were born. Huh? Played Halo before they were born? Huh? Is this just supposed to be some clever gotcha mic-dropping joke about people being young or something? I always break up with my boyfriend anytime I feel insecure things go south. He always cries for me and it makes me feel better. We don't get into fights at all, so it's my only solution. Huh? Huh? POV. Admiring the cactus my husband strategically planted under our toddler's window because he can see the future. What the f*** does that mean? What is- Oh, oh, I see them sneaking out at night. The, 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 is that what that's in preparation for? Your kid won't be able to sneak out at night because you put cactus under the window? Uh, weird. Very, very weird, dude. Your husband's body. Not your body. Not your choice. Always nice to see a post like this, whether it's meant to be a joke, which if it is, it's a very bad, stupid, loser-ass joke to make. Always great to see these accounts with a cross there, like, are, are, you're lying, I feel like you're lying. 
<laughs> Posts are meant to bring forward dialogue and discussion of the problematic sentiments shown and not in support. What does that mean, dude? Is that, is that your cop out? Is that your... No, no, no. I just wanted to start a discussion because no, you didn't. No, the f*** you didn't. Insecure man thinks PS5 controller colors aren't manly enough? Wish they made a green. Also, why are all the colors girly? How are they girly? Pinkish red, light baby blue, purple, pink, and then there's black and camo. The only two non-girlish ones. That's how. That's sad, man. Uh, seems like you hate the coolest colors. Like, what? Huh? <laughs> they only have camo and black. I don't want to, I don't want to look gay or like a girl or nothing when I'm playing my Hello Kitty Island Adventure for PS5. <laughs> Guys, if you're in a relationship, you have a duty to make her healthier. Get her off birth control and tracking her cycle instead. Morning body temp to ensure her thyroid is functioning appropriately. Non-toxic tampons, whatever the living <laughs> that means. Feed her beef liver weekly. That's all the ladies ever wanted, am I right, fellas? They just want to be fed beef liver. Make sure she is well aware that veganism is a scam and salads aren't healthy. Okay, I'd love to see your cholesterol. Collagen for skin and mental health. Supplement vitamin E, the fertility vitamin. Magnesium lotion nightly. 30 minutes of sunlight daily. Vitamin D critical for hormones. Honey and bee propolis for fertility? If she has PMS or period issues, give her progesterone in the second half of her cycle. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, hang on just a minute here. What do you mean you are suggesting that husbands should give somebody a prescription drug for the second half of someone's cycle? What, you just have that shit on hand? Are you a doctor or a pharmacist? The f*** you have progesterone for? Just casually around to force your wife to take, even though you know nothing about it or what it does. Throw away her polyester underwear and bras. No seed oils, no sunscreen, no toxic makeup. No sunscreen? God, these are the dumbest goddamn people alive, I swear, man. And that's coming from me, so you know I'm serious. Olive oil, eggs, and cocoa oil in hair instead of shampoos and toxic conditioner. Water filter for both drinking water and shower. See, I can see that one a little bit, though. I recently got a filter for my shower because we have very hard water out where I am. And whoo, it's changed my life. I feel so much nicer after getting out of the shower. I don't dry up and die. But anyway, feed her cheese. You know what? That's the most sane goddamn one here. Ladies, am I right? Don't you just want your husband to just feed you cheese rather than what was that thing up ahead uh, or up ahead up at the top? Feed her beef liver. No, 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 no. Feed your wife cheese at all times. That's perfect. Save her from her toxic nine to five job. Seems like there's maybe two of these things where your head and heart feel like they were in a, a semi-correct place, but the rest of this just feels strange and creepy and I own you coded for sure. So when did you notice your wife was dead? The lovemaking was the same, but then the dishes started to pile up. You can make these types of jokes funny. You genuinely can. Look at married with children. They did the I hate my wife, I hate my husband thing hilariously for like, what, 12 years or something insane? This stuff is just so lame and it feels like it comes from a place of actual hatred rather than just, you know, ribbing and making fun of your spouse because it's fun or funny or cute or you have that type of relationship. Drop your confession here. When my husband pisses me off, I put dog hair in his sandwich. Yeah, that's f***ing cool. He teared up just thinking about it and she immediately recognized his emotions. What a loving couple. Truly meant for each other. Exactly. They really a lovely couple. Nah, his estrogen unnaturally high. He needs to find a doctor. If that that's the part where he tears up. Since when does a love for his own wife need to be treated? Crying from a simple question like this is weird and unnatural. He needs to check up for his hormone levels. What was this in re What was this on? What, what video? <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was that question that someone asked Sam Neill recently in like some round table interview or whatever, but talking about a couple, I don't think that's the video this is in reference to. Well, y'all don't want to hear this, but genetics. The 411 women keep screaming they want a six foot guy and y'all wondering why men are getting short. OMG, men are getting shorter and shorter. Next thing you know, we're going to be able to put them in our pocket. That sounds kind of nice, though. Oh, for real. Like, please leave them alone. The 5'8 girlies are starving. Just date shorter men. You're missing the point, and I don't know how. People should not be height mixing, and instead should stay within their height range, or else they're wasting their tall genes and breeding out tall people. If she's over 5'8 and she wants to use up her tall genes, what sense would that make? What the hell are you talking about? A 
decade ago, Taylor Swift presented Bruno Mars with the VMA for Best Male Video. Taylor's only 5'10", still tall for a woman, but she flat as a sheet of plywood, so she might be a dude anyways. Bruno is 5'5", I had no idea he was a little dwarf. Wow, <laughs> what a dumb, ridiculously embarrassing comment to make. Just really wildly embarrassing. Why do you need to announce this? We finally had sex! Jesus is king! Uh, what does this say here? Uh, ask us about it? Ask us about it? No! I don't know you! Get the hell away from me, you freak! Name, Red Dead Redemption 2. Wokeness, slightly woke. Contains a subtly pro-DEI messaging. Several minor characters espouse modern-day political sentiments. As an example, the NPC Sadie Adler behaves the same way a modern-day feminist would. Yeah, this is... Oh, man, I could probably go on for an hour and a half about just how sad this makes me, but also how entertainingly pathetic it is. It makes you giggle that this is how they choose to live their lives. This is how they choose to experience and see any form of art. I love you, Colonel Sanders, a finger licking dating simulator, or finger licking good dating simulator, excuse me. Woke contains overtly pro LGBTQ plus messaging. No distinction between a male or female player. The player character is referred to using they, them pronouns. <laughs> Oh my god! I am so glad I only played that game the one time when it came out years ago. Oh my god, you know what that could have done to me? You, I almost died! Okay? Alright, Rise Son of Rome, slightly woke, contains subtly pro-DEI messaging. Boudicca is a frontline combatant shown to be capable of fighting one-on-one -on -one with officers of the Roman Legion. Jeez, man. Oh my god, it keeps going. I need to browse this website a little more. This seems hilarious. <laughs> Wait! Okay, okay, so the name of the game is Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Okay, woke. Wow, who could have seen that one coming? Contains overtly pro LGBTQ plus messaging, features a lesbian romance involving the player character. Multiple non-binary NPCs that use they, them pronouns. What's next? Breathing organisms that are supposed to be like people? They're anthropomorphized? We can't have this sh <laughs> So my best friend beat the flagship on her first run. Let's see. Victory! Congratulations! You've defeated the Rebel flagship and ensured the victory of the Federation. All right? Let's see what we got down here. My six-year-old did it on hard on his first run, but he was man enough to not feel the need to make a Reddit post about it. See... The, this is the other type of gamer, all right? We have the gamers that are bitching about woke and blah, blah, blah. We know what they're really complaining about. But then there's this guy that's like, hmm, uh, you felt good because you beat game on hard or did this on hard or did a difficult thing in game. I did it better because it's easy and you're stupid. Don't ever let anyone tell you how to play a game. Some men be dating strong women like, bro, if you're a man dating a self-proclaimed feminist or a woman with a master's degree, you're gay. Or the woman over five foot ten. <laughs> what? Wow. Um, I'll be so gay then? A woman over five foot ten. Jesus. Oh my god. What timeline did these people bleed through? And can they go back? Bro. Guys without a girlfriend. How is life? Getting food is only 4k instead of 20k plus an argument? Wow, that is the saddest upvote ratio I've ever seen on Reddit. Something this unfunny and stupid got that many votes? Woo! In general? Wow. Also, what do you mean food is only 4k? 4,000 are you talking about dollars? What do you mean? Why add more women to a male-dominated sport? You do realize that men watch football, including pre- and post-match, to escape the wife or woman's voice for a few hours a week. Now I sometimes mute games because the amount of dribble that's being spewed annoys me. Can't wait for the day an all-male sports company exists. It'll absolutely kill Sky and TNT. If you like men this much, there's an app called Grinder you'd love. What's the ideal age to get married? Uh, biologically 15, socially 26, legally after 18, culturally 24 to 28, economically above 30, and logically never. That was, I have nothing to say about that. That is, uh, that is sad. That is very, very sad. Did you just actually say biologically 15, you nasty little bitch? <laughs> Your height, 5 foot 8. Your weight, 215 pounds. Your BMI, 32.7. Diagnosis, mega obese. This dude took the time to save my profile picture, try to guess my height and weight, and then put it into an online BMI calculator. Dude thinks you hot as hell if he's willing to go through all of that, even though his diagnosis was mega obese. Okay, uh, dude, Twitter is such a hellhole. I mean, it always was. Do not get me wrong. It always was. 
But Elon turned it into a very, very special place where certain people can be as open as they want without consequence. Okay? All right. Cis women generally don't have hair on their legs. If you know women who do, they're most likely trans or have some kind of hormone imbalance. <laughs> Holy sh**. That, that, wow. You've never really met or seen a woman without pants on, have you? You've never seen a woman without pants on. Once in your life, have you? <laughs> a, a cis woman probably doesn't have hair on her legs right now because, you know, if she does, dudes like you will freak the f*** out and get dangerous and scary really fast. This is hilarious! I mean, I think I have seen this one before and, you know, looks like they're all in on it. It's fun. It's probably, like, something dad came up with. They all thought it was funny. I'm not gonna get all whiny about this one because it seems like a family that's loving each other. They're having a great, probably, Halloween. And honestly, let's be real. This did seem like the dad came up with it, okay? Dad Fargo. It's just, it's cute. This one's cute, I'll admit. Me arranging the flowers my husband bought me. Aren't they beautiful? Give me one reason why incest is immoral. Oh my god. But I don't know if it's just social media exploding to bigger than it ever was when I was in high school and whatnot, but I had never seen comments like this until the last few years. Who the f goes online and says something like this? They could find you, dude. Age gap relationship? Fine. Height gap relationship? Fine. I Q gap relationship? Absolutely not. Intelligent men want a simple, loving, faithful woman. She doesn't need to be brilliant. Okay. You don't need to be brilliant either. I'm sure you're not. A girlfriend is a mother you get kidnapped by. I can't keep up with all these new gender roles. A girlfriend is a mother you get kidnapped by. For woman friend. Okay. Logan Paul promotes Lunchly while his wife is in labor. And of course, Lunchly. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know why he needs to like grind this hard. He could stop and leave the internet yesterday and they could just live a normal, happy f off life. He's got more than enough money to just go and live with them and just leave. He doesn't need to maintain anything anymore. He doesn't have to work with the algorithm and play the f game. He won the game, he could leave. He does this on purpose, I'm pretty sure because he knows it'll piss people off and get him his Twitter paycheck, I guess. I, I don't know why he needs to do this. Like just leave, dude. His name on the app was married. I understand that. Don't have a wife, just a girlfriend, just a kink for me. Just as wrong, though. Cheating as a kink is a red flag, not gonna lie. Daddy of liberals. Smash cultural Marxism. Mom explains why she walks around naked in homes she shares with teenage son. I don't, I don't need to hear it. He's got a lot of friends, no doubt. Don't believe she does it. Need to see proof. She's gonna open up about how it impacted her in a few years and victim signal, I'm sure. I wish some of my friends' moms would have done that, but not mine. The tweet. Anyone know of a nail tech based in New York City that does hard gel slash Russian manicures? The reply, your life is a joke. A bloated, grotesque monstrosity. You are fat. You are ugly. You are a feminist. No. Unacceptable. Lose weight. Become pretty. Accept that men are superior. This will bring you victory. <laughs> you don't have to do anything online for the weirdest, most pathetic little creature you've ever seen in your life to wiggle out from the floorboards and say something so heinously unrelated it leaves you slack jawed for a year and a half straight. If a woman tells you that you have nice hands, she actually wants to bear your children, by the way. <laughs> Look, I've met plenty of women that are like, I love hands. Like, I love man hands. Um, it's just an attractive feature. I don't think we need to go much deeper than that. I, I just, I just don't think we do, okay? OBGYN suggests to a woman to just have a baby, okay? Has yet to resolve my health issue for the past month. He's also prescribed unnecessary drugs for an unrelated issue. He doesn't think outside the box and has answered his phone in the middle of our consult. On top of that, he was persistent and unprofessional with his idea of me getting pregnant. I'm 24. I've explained I'm not interested in having babies right now. He asked again anyway. Maybe you wouldn't be so upset if you had a baby? Is this dude still practicing? I feel like we've seen this guy around a couple of times, and I hope he's not, because it's creepy. It's weird. I don't care if you're a goddamn OBGYN or not. Shut up. It's legitimately so infuriating how that is an answer that so many men in particular love to give women. <laughs> Just go have a f baby, dude. Just go have one. You know what? Have four. It'll solve everything and you won't have a terrible time. Me. Hey, can you come pick up your daughter? Sleepover was supposed to be for just one night. Uh, oh, I see there's more. Father-in-law. Dustin, you've been married for over 15 years. No. He really said, you took my problem. I don't want it back. Gotta pause it to read it, but worth it. Sorry, there is a zero return policy. Father-in-law be like, she's high maintenance. That's why me 
Me gave her to you. That's why me gave her to you has 1,350 likes. Father-in-law pretty much saying, if I couldn't return mine, you can't return yours. Okay. Um, anyway. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick break and just say you should check out my YouTube channel in the description below. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. If you like video game stuff, I like doing video game stuff. Me preparing if she's answer will be no. Me preparing if she's answer will be no. Okay. Very cute. Notice how it started getting hot during Pride Month. I think God trying to give y'all a preview. It's just a joke. Please don't start crying. Uh, dude, thank God that was there because I was about to start crying. <laughs> See, this is the type of joke that I would share with my friends. Like, dude, he might be onto something, okay? I think this guy figured it out. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Any real man will spot the problem with this picture. Oh, that she's cold and he's not giving her the jacket? I guess. Maybe she should have remembered her own jacket. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she should just, like, think about it uh, for next time. Because <laughs> I'm not here to babysit you, okay? I'm warm because I used my brain. My big, huge man brain. Yeah, his woman doesn't listen about bringing a jacket. God damn it. Of course. <laughs> He should offer his coat and she should walk on the other side of him. Chivalry is not dead, just on life support. She's not in the kitchen. Mike tried to be like, oh, he should be chivalrous. I'll offer her your jacket. And, you know, I, I remember growing up being told, hey, ladies walk on the inside. You take street side, okay? As if that would really protect her if a car came crashing over the curb. But yeah, whatever, not the point. At least Mike doesn't seem like these other two guys. Yeah, this damn woman didn't listen. Maybe she should be in the kitchen. Well, he should offer her his coat and, you know, make sure she walks on the other side. Come on, chivalry. We can't die. Let's keep it going, fellas. I'm gonna assume he recommended her grabbing a jacket before they left and she rolled her eyes and didn't. Hashtag her bad. Oh, man. I don't know what's more sad. Seeing comments like this that don't have any interaction at all or seeing them with a bunch of interaction because these guys are literally talking to themselves and no one gives a shit. It's so funny when these guys get no attention. Probably told her a hundred times, take a jacket before leaving. Oh, there's another one. She's not in the kitchen. Wrong side. Give jacket. Put phone away. Wrong side. Give jacket. Put phone away. Trending. Panthers quarterback Bryce Young's girlfriend, Myra Gordon, is now dating NBA star Tyrese Maxey. Gordon previously dated... <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> what the hell? I think I just nailed a piece of dust. Oh, oh god, help me please. Oh, I think it's gone. Sorry about that. What the sh... Anyway, what did douchebag McCheckmark say here? I'll never understand how in a world filled with beautiful women with no baggage, athletes will pass around the same 10 to 12 recycled hose like it's a mandatory rule. Wow. I see hot available woman. What's problem? Oh, I see what your problem is. Could I get some advice? Sure. I keep getting rejected by ugly and unattractive girls. I don't know why. I keep getting rejected by ugly and unattractive girls. I don't know why. Lol. Can I get your number? And who are you to decide whether those girls are ugly or not? Maybe you're the one who is ugly. Also, I won't give my number to a random dude who lacks chivalry and is in incapable of handling rejection. This just in. Liberal women pay up to $4,000 to bash cushions with sticks to let out their internal anger during a rage ritual retreat. That is really hard to say, by the way. Rage ritual retreat. Try saying that five times fast. Should channel this energy into sandwiches and housework. Seriously, it's the check marks every time. They pay a fee to be able to be racist and sexist and just the least funny people that have ever graced a platform. And I think it's hilarious to just block anyone with one, even though that doesn't really work anymore. Thank you, sir. Things that I think should be for girls only. No men. Ordering a side salad. Self-explanatory. How? How is that self-explanatory? I mean, if I had to guess your reasoning, salad day for women. Don't do. But I want to hear you explain it. Using multiple pillows. Sweet dreams, princess. What the f Okay, now it feels like you're just, you're being, this, like, this feels like satire all of a sudden. Tapping to pay with your phone. Swipe a card like a man. Hey, whoa. Hey, wait a minute. It, I can tap my card. Most of them don't even let you swipe a card anymore. If anything, they have you insert the card, which is, you know, when you think about it, quite a strange patriarchal thing to do. I have to insert my... I'm just being an asshole, whatever. I I'm trying to match this dude's douchebag energy, uh, which is really hard to do because I'm not an asshole. Taking selfies. Self-explanatory. Seatbelts. I thought, okay, this is definitely satire. This has to be if we've gotten to seatbelts, 
right? It has to be. Stitch number two incoming. My grandpa told me never drop your drawers for any lady that wouldn't clean them if you <laughs> shit in them at work. And I'm holding that one close now. I get the sentiment. I do understand what you're talking about, but please don't go sh <laughs> in your pants to test people. Schoolgirls told to wear longer skirts to create a good environment for male staff. Okay. If male staff are in any way distracted by children's knees, I don't think they should be allowed anywhere near a school, to be honest. Yeah, we need to get to the bottom of why that rule needed to exist in order to create a good work environment for the male staff, because those people might belong in, well, they certainly don't belong in teaching roles or working in a school at all. Th what the hell? I wish there was a real life scouter for seeing a girl's stats like cooking, 80, head, 95, loyalty, 12. All right, so <laughs> what's the scouter for seeing guy stats gonna be? And what would it say about you? You know what, folks in the comments, here's a call to action for you real quick. Let's flip this around on Virgin McGee here on Twitter. If you had a scouter and you were looking at this guy, what would his stats be? Let's take a look. I understand Offset. I only got my baby mama pregnant just to have her as a trophy. I didn't really want her like that, but other whatever did, so that gave me social status. Hmm. Um, what? I hope that kid grows up, sees this tweet, and never talks to you again. It's crazy some people don't believe I'm straight. This pic proves I only enjoy heterosexual passion with my female wife. <laughs> Would not surprise me if Holly actually tweeted this. Jersey could scrap only husband's talk tax rule. Currently, a married woman can only discuss her taxes with the government if the spouse says so. If you're a married woman in Jersey and you want to discuss your tax affairs with the government, better ask your husband's permission first. No, this is not an excerpt from a 1950s guide to managing finances, but the current reality on the self-governing island. But this could finally be about to change. What? Good lord, it's so cringe. My brother in Christ, this is an underage trauma victim. Oh wait, let me guess, someone's bitching about Angela from Silent Hill 2 Remake. Someone's bitching about Angela from Silent Hill 2 Remake. Oh woohoo! The female man faces gave it away. I have yet to see a single one of these checkmark grifters. That's all they are. They don't actually believe this shit. They've just found, like a lot of us unfortunately, know that negativity sells and gets way more interaction, because you're more likely to respond or interact if you're pissed off. It's true. It's bait. It's always been about the bait, and we take it all the time, because unfortunately, it's our human nature to defend things that are being unjustly, not just criticized, but shat on in the most embarrassing way possible to trivialize how important it really is. Censored. Won't say hate because that's too strong of a feel. But he just kept twerking. Like, at the most random time, and it wasn't just any twerk, but the Tina Belcher twerk. <laughs> oh god. One night he twerked once too much, confirming my dislike. My disgust could not contain itself at that point. Ladies, how'd you realize you hated your boyfriend? That's why? That should make you fall in love with him more! What? My disgust could not contain itself at that point. I really hope you brought it up so that he could go be with someone that's actually a nice person, genuinely. I know that we all have, like, different senses of humor and stuff like that, but this seems so peddly goddamn lame, man. A woman who doesn't immediately give you what you want, who is also generous, kind, and soft, is something to pursue long-term. You pick your battles accordingly. You don't casually sleep with women who can do a great job raising your children someday. If a girl has sex with me immediately, she will be a bad mother is not only magic thinking, but a damning self-assessment. If a girl wants to rip your clothes off, she wants you to impregnate her? Basic biology. Equating that to bad moral character reveals how you see yourself. If you believe that there should be more people like you, then all girls who want me to impregnate them are inherently good is the correct mode of thinking. What the f- can we all just, like, get back to just watching TV and hanging out with friends and having a good time? Oh, it's a checkmark paycheck. We're gonna start calling them paycheck marks. Nowadays, hey, look, another paycheck mark. Nowadays, women want 50-50. What is 50-50 exactly? What do you think? Men should lead the way as a provider, or should men rely on a woman to bring the other 50%? 50-50? Or men should lead the way. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, I am always willing to help do more than I would consider my fair share. I would love to be able to do that, and it wouldn't bother me one bit. I was in a relationship where I did like 10% of the financial lifting, and my girlfriend did the rest of it. Both of us were fine with that arrangement. I am more of a home husband anyway. I like to clean and sit around and be lazy and stupid and work on my art or whatever it is. 
It's all up to you. You do what you want. How to find out a girl's past before marriage? Oh boy. Check all her social media accounts. Ask around the neighbors and the relatives. This is the best way to know. Just be open-minded around her. Tell her that her past and virginity don't matter and that you will accept her the way she is. Highly likely she will reveal her past. Tell her that you can't accept her. Or sorry, can't accept a past ever? What? Tell her that you can't accept a past ever. If you can't find out her past even after all that, just give her a warning that if you ever find out she has a past, then it will be the end of it. That if you, if you better not have a past. Memories? You better not have been born, okay? Before and after the woke infection. I don't know, it seems like somebody who changed up their style. Um, is that a weird thing to do after a set amount of time? Ch change, like, the style of clothes you wear and wear a different necklace and new haircut? I'm confused. What, 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 what woke infection could you be referring to? Men are not falling in love anymore. I'm not sitting down to watch four women behind the microphone speak about anything that's not about cooking or cleaning. <laughs> Like, you would watch anybody talk about cooking and cleaning anyway. Let's be honest with yourself. You don't watch anything to actually learn, dude. Your man still goes to work, even when he doesn't feel like it. Which is why you should sleep with him even when you don't feel like it. Remember, relationships take work. Uh, okay, wow. First of all, scariest looking man I've ever seen in my life. I think it's just the dead on staring, not directly into the camera, but staring at me a little bit. I can feel him ripping a hole through my soul right now. I just, he kind of looks like a goddamn, was it Wojak? Is that what they're called? Can someone make one of this dude? He's horrifying. Ponder this. Angelina Jolie cut off her breasts for cosmetic purposes, and now her husband is no longer attracted to her. Karma is real. What happened? God, this was a while back, though. This is old Twitter. She was trying to ensure that the cancer gene she is prone to did not develop into a terminal disease? Oh, please. No man wants a woman who would mutilate herself to that degree. What did she expect? That's possibly the worst thing I've ever read. Are you saying that being married is more important than being alive? Yes. Your husband should come before everything. Mine does. Brad doesn't deserve such a burden. He married a whole woman. I got nothing. I got nothing on that. If anyone out there uh, ever unironically says something like that regarding any form of cancer, uh, <clears throat> self, this is ridiculous. All right, well, you know what? I think we can definitively answer the question. No, the straights are not okay. They're absolutely not okay. The straights could use a little bit of goddamn therapy. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy, but here we are.